Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is my camera comparison and speed test between the Infinix Hot 6X and Umidi G8 III Pro. Both of these phones are catered towards the entry level market. Let's take a look at the relevant specs for this speed test and start with the boot up test. The Umidi G8 III Pro booted up first in 29 seconds with the Hot 6X coming in 4 seconds later. I closed all the running apps before this test. Let's begin with Twitter. Hot 6X opened Twitter faster. Instagram. A3 Pro opened Instagram faster. Facebook. A3 Pro opened Facebook faster. Snapchat. A3 Pro opened Snapchat faster. YouTube. A3 Pro opened YouTube faster. Play Store. Hot 6X opened Play Store faster. Antutu Benchmarks. A3 Pro opened Antutu faster. They both refused to run Antutu completely, but you can see their average scores. Geekbench. A3 Pro opened Geekbench slightly faster. Skipping the game's row for now. Snapseed. Hot 6X opened Snapseed slightly faster. Camera. A3 Pro opened camera faster. Messages. Pretty much a draw. Settings. A3 Pro opened settings faster. Speed test. Pretty much a draw. I tested both on the same network and the Hot 6X got higher download speeds while the A3 Pro got higher upload speeds. Jumia app. Hot 6X opened Jumia app faster. And now, the games. Smash Hit. A3 Pro opened Smash Hit faster. PUBG. A3 Pro opened PUBG faster. Let's see which one enters the game quicker. They both loaded two different stages, so this test is invalid. Subway Surf. A3 Pro opened Subway Surf faster. Tempo Run 2. Hot 6X opened Tempo Run 2 faster. It's worth noting that in the course of this test, the A3 Pro got dangerously hot and I advise that you do not game on this guy unless when or if heating issues are resolved via update. I would keep you guys posted on social media. Now onto the camera comparison, on the front of the A3 Pro, you have an 8 megapixel camera and on the back, you have a 12 plus 5 megapixel camera with dual flash. On the front of the Hot 6X, you have an 8 megapixel camera with flash and on the back, you have a 13 plus 2 megapixel camera with dual flash. Now let's see some side by side photos. In this shot, you can see high dynamic range shown beautifully in the photo shot on the A3 Pro while the Hot 6X is the exact opposite. When you zoom in, the A3 Pro's photo becomes really soft while the Hot 6X photo retains its sharpness. Here the A3 Pro looks oversaturated while the Hot 6X is balanced, sharper and more detailed when you zoom in. In this photo, the oversaturation on the A3 Pro may have worked in its favor for those who love punchier greens and deeper blacks as opposed to the more natural tone on the Hot 6X's photo. Judging by the outdoor selfies, they both deliver two different tones. I prefer the warmer tone on the Hot 6X, however, you can see that the selfie shot on the A3 Pro is more detailed when you zoom in. As for the portrait selfies, the A3 Pro failed to deliver passable bokeh even by smartphone standards and though the Hot 6X blurred some parts of my face, it retained its quality and good color balance. Using the primary camera to take a selfie, we get pretty much the same story with the Hot 6X having a more natural color while the A3 Pro is a little oversaturated and again, the quality of the A3 Pro's photo is sharper when you zoom in. Using portrait mode on the primary camera, you can see that the Hot 6X outshines the A3 Pro by a long shot. Even more so because the Hot 6X can increase and reduce bokeh intensity after the shot has been taken using the photo app tools. With the greens and purples, it's a question of how much you love eye-catching saturated photos as opposed to the natural looking ones cause they both look similar otherwise. For me, I prefer the saturated photos of the A3 Pro. 
in these micro shots, the color accuracy and sharpness of the Hot 6X's photos are looking a tad crisper than those shots on the A3 Pro, with the exception of that wall which looks a lot better on the A3 Pro. In the indoor selfies, the A3 Pro is making the best use of fluorescent light as there's some overexposure in the Hot 6X's photo. Hot 6X photo appears soft too, while the A3 Pro's photo is quite sharp. At night, the Hot 6X is letting more light in in these selfies. However, the A3 Pro, though darker, doesn't smoothen out my face the way that the Hot 6X does. Using the primary camera, the Hot 6X's photo is brighter, sharper, and making better use of the Christmas lights than the A3 Pro's photo. Only the Hot 6X has a front-facing flash and the A3 Pro has no LED flash or screen flash. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, do give it a thumbs up and share it. Also, you can come hang out with me on Twitter or Instagram to see my current giveaway. And please subscribe to support my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.